are in Lakshadweep Archipelago and I am teaching a short course on coral reefs past, present and future. I have brought nine students from IIT Gandhinagar from the discipline of earth sciences but there are additional students from civil engineering and mechanical engineering joining us on this trip from IIT Gandhinagar as well. So this is not just a beautiful location but it is also a natural habitat, natural environment, a natural lab in which we are teaching students how these shallow marine environments work in the development of these uh, small islands. Geologists have a very skewed concept of time. Formation of islands, erosion, deposition, all of these takes thousands if not millions of years to form. But something that is totally ignored is how decadal time scale variations are also very important. So this was formed a decade ago. So these are tetrapods that are actually used to prevent coastal erosion or manage coastal erosion. But is that what we really see? So this is also an example of a maladaptive coastal management strategy and this point here emphasizes a need to actually understand the geology of a place and understand decadal time scale variations of erosion and accumulation and then bring up strategies to actually pre uh, prevent the coastal erosion. Here in the Lakshadweep there are 30 small islands that are made up of fully carbonate sands. That carbonate sands and the major contributor of those carbonate sands are coming from the corals. So when I was a kid, I saw a documentary about the coral reefs. So ever since then, I've been really excited about the coral reefs and the varieties of them. Here we are also interested to understand what are the carbonate factories that give rise to these sediments. One of the first one and most important is corals. The action of tides and waves and winds basically break some of these corals down and then they form these smaller sediments by breaking against each other. There are different carbon uh, factories like uh, algal, corals, uh, microorganisms and some other. Uh, this is the main biological things and I have seen the symbiotic relations of the yeah. corals and the algae, yeah. juice and fly. So the major goal of today was snorkeling. So snorkeling was basically to observe some coral reefs and some underwater mollusks and dolls. So coral reefs are not only an important ecosystem, but they are repositories of sea level fluctuations and past climate. These ecosystems are very delicate. They live in a certain temperature, salinity and depth ranges. So they are really important recorders of paleo climate and sea level fluctuations. So seeing from the outside, the corals are just rocky structures. But like understanding what kind of features there and the, the complex uh, ecosystems that they maintain, help maintain and the process and the morphology, all this intrigue me very much. So today we are standing on Bangaram Island and I would like you to see what is happening behind me. So that is a sand bank that is also made up of uh, calcium carbonate sediments and then these sand banks are the ones that have the sand that can you know develop the islands more. So if the wind and wave action uh, brings the sand over to the island, the island will start accreting. I have also observed that how the uh, formation and erosion of island are happening. In the same island which is known as Bangaram, we have seen that in the uh, one one of the place are eroding and one of the place is uh, where we have seen the how the sediment are coming and it is making a new island. I being an earthquake engineer all, is always being into the lab doing computational work so this is my first ever field trip and here I am experiencing a lot of uh, features and knowledge that I have always gathered into the a closed environment in a lab and here in an open space in a natural lab apart from learning all the new things I, this has been one of the most memorable and very good experience that I can ever have in my life. So in Lakshadweep we want to understand how did this island form, how are they going now and what is their future under the influence of ongoing climate forming. Ready. 